Hey, what's going on, guys and girls? Tuesday, it's hurricane's coming. It's, ca it's category three. By the time, you know, it's good. now it's uh, going right into the state. Right up it through Orlando. Off close to Orlando, so we're definitely going to see some of that. But yeah, now it's going up, but it's supposed to be a Cat 3. And when it hits Tampa, it'll weaken to 1. When it gets to around the Orlando, it'll be under, under a 1, but you know, it'll still be a lot. So, wish us luck. Just took my shower. Okay, do a short review. Today's review. It's a cheese review, guys. Yes, sir, I will. I brought it out here, and I brought it, the whole thing. I'm just going to slice it off. Slice it off the, you know. I wanted to try. Uh, uh, you know, I don't know if I've ever. I've seen these before, but I've gotten these. Uh, you know, if you go to the gas stations, they'll have the little Cracker Bell sliced cheeses. I remember getting those for sure. But it was on sale. You know, you know, on sale for these. So I just screwed it. it says keep refrigerated. Don't freeze it. Are rich and bold cheddar perfect in pairing. So you obviously saw it's extra white. I yellow and white, you know. And obviously I don't have to read what's in cheese. So I'm gonna see how how I open how I should open it. Mm, let's see. Mm. Just trying to think. Usually I always I always like to think of how I because I got my little handy dandy knife here. It's got little tear tablets, you know, where you can like I don't think I'll do that. Carefully, always, always when you mess with a knife or do anything with that, away from your body, away, away, not towards it. And you're like, and there would be a terrible idea. Let's see. I don't know how I feel about that. I wish I had scissors. I would cut that off with some scissors. But what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just take this, up. kind of split it right here. Because, you know, I'm going to try to peel this thing back without messing it too much up. And then I might have to, like, I don't know. We'll figure it out. Let me see if I can get a little bit of, you know, get, it, get the little wrapper wrap back, wrapped, wrapper backed a little bit so I can cut a piece of cheese off. And this is just a cheese review. Let me spice it up with some of that. Yeah, we will. We'll do something like that. We'll, uh... Well, maybe I'll have some tea. To Cheeto, maybe? Yeah, I don't know. But we're going to try a little bit. Well, here you go, guys. Extra sharp cheddar cracker barrel. Mm hmm. Hmm. It's rich, rich, creamy. It says all rich and bold cheddar. Yeah. Not bad. Big cut on burger. Mm. Mm. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Week coming. Mean, sorry. Soda. It's still warm. Whatever. That's as true as my pal out, buddy. Pals. Everybody that watches me. Thank you. Short video. For sure. You know what? We will crack these open. We better view them. I'm at a racetrack. That's the first place I've seen them. I've looked everywhere. All right. So, so we're gonna slice one, and we're gonna slice that in half, like 
you know, like right there. So like, show me like two. So we'll do two. Now there we get the one. Two halves. Now, like I said, it's not good. I don't, you know, you don't go. I don't go. My guilty pleasure is cheese, man. You know that. Get that up there. We'll get that wrapped up and taped around or whatever. Probably tape it. I got saran wrap, so if you know if you're wrapping saran wrap, I'll just keep it compact. And that's the best way to store stuff too. You know, saran wrap, man. Make sure it doesn't get no air. I'm trying to think if I should. Yeah, you know what? You saw the two halves. I'm gonna lay the Cheeto on top and then eat that with that and the cheddar and then put the tink on the chip. Tink on the chip. These are some some good ones. Nope, wait. Oh, that was a full me. It was a broken one, damn it. Ah, that's an extra drop. Darn it, I should say. I saw a nice hunker one in here. It was like, you know, it was like a billy club. All right, screw it. I'm just gonna go reach down to this one. I think it's gonna be good. Yeah, that's good. Nope. Nope. Something with some kind of. Oh. oh yeah, here we go. I see it now. Yeah, yeah, like I'm saying, it's like you know, it's bigger at the top, small at the bottom, like a Billy, not like a Billy Club, like a bat, maybe. I don't know. So we're gonna do three drops. No, we're gonna do four drops on one. No, maybe we can do four drops. Maybe we do four and five. Right, I'm just, I'm just, that was a sign what I'm going to do. Uh, I get my little, my hands. Get my little hands, you know. One, I don't like cross-contaminate, you know. Listen here. You wipe your face with your same towel that you wipe your, you wipe your face with the same towel you're, you clean your hands off and you get stuff in there and then you wipe it in your face. So I'm gonna do that. Um, let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna do a shout out. Hmm. You know what? Larry D, Chili Head Aquatics. He always watches me. I think I've tagged him. I don't know if I, you know what? I don't know if I've tagged him. I've mentioned him before. I don't know if I've tagged him, but this time I will put it in the description or whatever. Larry D, Tilly Head Aquatics. He just did a nice Monster Mash Burn video yesterday. It was a hotter one too because I didn't even notice it because I had the Monster Mash, but with the black tape, and then when, excuse me, Uncle Bull Cow did the other one. The extreme one, it had the red tape, and he did the red one. All, you know, I don't know how much hotter he put than the first and the next one. You know, obviously, I, and I got that one for free, actually. Someone was kind enough to send it to me. So. Larry D. Larry D. Chili Head Aquatics, man. I always try to put a little bass in there. Larry D. And there's a lot of, you know, burn stuff. He also has, you know, chili headed aquatics. So he has, uh, excuse me, who knows what's itching? Allergies, maybe? Uh, so he has uh, fish tanks and stuff and such. Fish tanks. You know, he has, uh, you know, I don't even know what they call them, but, you know, he has plants that grow in the, f that are growing in fish tanks, so the underwater plants. I don't know what kind they are. But he does that. Uh, you know, if you ever want a fish tank or learn something about a fish tank, I'm sure I'm sure you could walk you through it, maybe. Um, yeah, and of course they'll go and like you know a few a few days ago he did a cleaning on it, so you get to see how how it is the process on the clean on one of his tanks. Yeah, I don't know what's itching my nose. Hang on, guys. I haven't even started; it's already kind of. But isn't that cool? Look at that thing, guys. Very clear. Very clear. What did we say? Four and five. 
All right, um, let's see. This is the bigger one. Jeez, it's not much bigger. So put five. Two, three, four, five. Oh, that touched my hand. Nah, let's wipe it off. <laughs> I wash my hands still though. Always make sure you wash your hands, guys. You don't want to touch your, you know, your private area. You don't want to touch your face. Two, three. This one's getting five too. You saw that, right? I hope y'all did. One of them got two drops at a time, which I mean, what's the difference, dude? So we're doing ten. Screw it. I could just top and put that one, two in here, but ah, screw it. I put it all the way through. Uh, I mean, all. Uh, Long as chip. Yeah, and I realize uh, that's not going to make it any better. Probably going to make it worse. Thank you, guys. Oh, let's rate the cheese. That cheese is dang good. Cracker barrel cheese. I mean, gosh. Oh, I leave drawers open. My my biggest, uh, I don't know what you call it, but you know, I'll open up a cabinet. Maybe I'll leave it open. I don't recall that, but sometimes I do that. I just do that right there. I went, took a shower, left it open, didn't even close it. But the cheese was great. The cheese was pretty dang good. I said, dang.